FutureLix CES 2012 coverage is brought to you by Cooler Master. Celebrating 20 years of innovation and excellence with visually striking products like the new Cooler Master Cosmos 2 Ultra Tower chassis. Hi, I'm Stephen with FutureLooks.com and we're at CES 2012. We're at the Seagate conference room here at the Vidara Hotel. And today we've got Steve Kaufman and Joni Clark. They're gonna take us through some of the aspects of the Momentus XT, which is a brand new drive that just launched. It's the successor to the original Momentus XT. Uh, we've been, done some testing in-house in and we're just about to release our review. We're really liking it, but they're just gonna to touch on some of the finer points of that particular product. Take it away, Joni. Thanks, Stephen. Okay, I'm Joni Clark, Product Marketing Manager for Seagate Technology. This is Steve Kaufman. He's also with Seagate Technology. He's in our technical marketing organization. And what Steve and I have here is a Momentus XT and a RAID 0 setup in a gaming system, an Alienware to be specific. Now, when Seagate first came out with the Momentus XT back in May of 2010, some of the first laptops that integrated this technology were gamer laptops. And if you're a gamer, you might ask, well, why do I need a fast performance, high performance storage in a gaming system, especially when a lot of times the game actually resides in the system RAM, right? There are two, a couple of reasons why a fast drive is needed here. One, you want to get started. You want to boot fast. You want to get, get on with the game quickly, right? But two, Level loads, um, new levels. You fail in one level, you have to go back in and reload the game, and it's going to pull up big maps or sometimes a lot of graphics. It's going to pull them up from the hard drive, and you want that to be quicker. You want to get back in the game quicker. So Steve is actually going to give you an example of that right now. Fantastic, thank you. Oop. Hi. An example would be is if you're in the game and you get killed, someone comes up behind you and knifes you, and you have to do a checkpoint reload. So if you did a checkpoint reload, we're just going to go in here and manually do it, load from the last checkpoint. This is going to go much faster than it would on a conventional RAID 0 with conventional hard drives with our Momentus XTs in the product. And see, we're back in the game already. If you're playing on the network, you've got five other team members, um, and they're already loaded and waiting for you, then you're kind of the slow man on the totem pole there, right? Nobody wants to be that guy. Now, for the rest of the world, this is one application where Momentus XT excels, but for the rest of the world, who are you and I, who maybe not be Navy SEALs or assassins or mercenaries, then there's other applications that we want to look at. So Momentus XT is more than just for gamers. Let's let's see what this is all about. Okay, great. So what we have here, this is a uh, laptop and which, which one did we choose? I think this is the Dell 15Z. And we have, what we did was we videotaped the Dell 15Z with three different devices in there. One was a 7200, the other one is an SSD, and then the Momentus XT. And what you're gonna see here on this video is the three devices running a boot race. Not only a boot race, but an application launch as well. So um, here you'll see the 7200 starts. They all start off at the same time. The Intel SSD boots in 11 seconds, the Momentus XT boots in 14 seconds. Okay, this is really powerful because we're only three seconds behind that SSD, but if you were to go off and buy a 500 gig SSD, you're gonna pay anywhere from $800 to $1,200. Our Momentus XT for a 500 gig right now today runs a little over 100 bucks. And I think that the 750 gigabyte model, which is the new version, is about 189? Yes, that's exactly right. So uh, if we keep going, you'll see that um, the hard drive might take a little longer, <laughs> forever maybe, but he'll also launch some applications, things like PowerPoint, Excel, um, Premier Elements, things that you and I would use every day. Again, it's not a gaming environment, it's more of an office environment, so think more commercial at this point. So the bottom line is whether you're trying to get back into the game in a gaming application or be on top of your game, the Momentus XT can give you that boost of performance that you want in everyday life or in a gaming world. Well, that's great. So we've got Momentus XT here. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, this is a uh, brand new drive. There's a 750 gigabyte version out there with more storage, $189. Definitely way more competitive than many SSDs. Uh, and also you get a lot more storage uh, out, out of the box, right? That's right, um, eight gigs of SLC NAND flash. It's uh, enterprise class high speed NAND on top of 750 gigabytes of capacity. Perfect, and now we've got David Burks here from Seagate. He's gonna talk a little bit about the desktop drives, but one question I wanted to ask you, David, is the Thailand floods have obviously affected the desktop industry a lot. Uh, how has Seagate handled that in the last little while? 
Well, primarily, uh, our factories have not been directly impacted by the flooding there. Some of our suppliers have, and this is all public information that we've released. So uh, from a standpoint of subcomponents, we do have some restrictions, but from a standpoint of our own factories, we're in full operation and we continue to ship the products that we have within the, that we've designed and so on within the constraints of the, of the subcomponents that we're getting. Now clearly that hasn't stopped you from pushing ahead and innovating. You've got some really neat technology to show us today, don't you? Yeah, the hard drive industry, I mean, there's a lot of interest in obviously hybrid technology and some of the other, you know, top line products. But when you lift the, the cover off of those hard drives, there's a really cool story inside there in terms of what technology goes into that. So this drive here is, is really pushing the boundaries in terms of that capacity. This is our new Barracuda product, which actually achieves aerial densities of one terabyte per platter. So that single platter there can actually hold a terabyte of information, which means to do that, we had to squeeze 340,000 individual tracks across that platter. And that means that each of those tracks is about 75 nanometers wide. And that's only about as wide as a flu virus that you can't see, that you, know, you don't want to breathe in. So it's really, really small tolerances involved here. Now this obviously has the capability of driving um, hard drive prices back down to hopefully where they were. Um, what is the current pricing for something like this right now? Um, you know, the pricing is pretty volatile given the supply and demand situation, but uh, you know, a one terabyte product uh, you know, before the Thailand flooding was in the range of a hundred dollar retail price uh, and that's where we're really pushing the cost per gigabyte so at a drive level you know a, a 500 gigabyte one platter drive you know a few years ago is probably going to be in the same range as a as a one platter one terabyte drive you know given standard market uh, situation so the aerial density improvements that we're making drive the cost per gigabyte metric down for consumers and businesses as their, as their store and allows their total storage costs to go down. So hopefully as a result of the, this innovation, uh, we can hopefully somewhere in between now and when the pricing recovers itself, meet in between before that total uh, equilibrium. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, over, over time, things will normalize and we'll get back to a steady state where the supply and demand is sort of balanced out. And uh, that's, that's when, you know, people will start to see a little more uh, consistent pricing return to the market. Well, that's great, David. Thank you so much for uh, talking to us about this. Uh, hopefully, we see those prices uh, go back down sooner rather than later. We've got some more stuff to show you at CES 2012 at the Seagate booth, so uh, stick around. Now, last but not least, we have to talk about Mac users because they're still a very important part of the computer market, a growing part of the market. I've got Leo here from Seagate, and he's going to talk about an innovation that they've got going on with Thunderbolt. Take it away, Leo. Right. As you mentioned, the Mac market is growing and it's becoming pretty large and we launched the Mac GoFlex about a year ago and when we did that, the main idea was that we introduced the interfaces that are mostly used by Mac users. So we both have USB as well as Firewire 800 and what you would do is you actually interchange the whole interface so that you would use whichever one you needed. So in the meantime, that was what was available as the fastest interface built into the Mac computer. And as you see here, we have both the portable version as well as a desk version. And the big idea here is that you can interchange the interface for anything going on in the future. So Thunderbolt is our new release. And what we're gonna do here is gonna show you a little bit of the speed test so we can show you the difference between what's currently available and what's gonna be currently available in about two weeks. Great, Leo. Let's see how fast it is. It's gonna be the same hardware. We're gonna do FireWire tests real quick. And basically what we're gonna see here is anywhere between 70 to 80 megabytes per second in the read and write. And here you can see the writes going through. Reads are usually a little bit faster. And this is a performance we actually see pretty normally with a FireWire drive. That is a 7200 RPM drive. So here what's limiting the drive is actually the interface, not the drive. And what I'll prove to you is by stopping this, I'm gonna safely eject the drive so we can move it over to the other side. And the big feature here is that the same hardware that the customers already have can now be adapted to our newer hardware. And what we're gonna do Take that same drive using the GoFlex system. We're going to plug it into the Thunderbolt interface. And once it loads here, we'll run the test again. And as I said, basically to say the biggest point here is the fact that they already have this drive. All they have to do is purchase the interface adapter. So three and a half inch version will retail for 189 and the portable version will retail for 99. This one will be late January. This one, mid-February. Now that we've recognized the drive, we'll actually run the speed test again 
and you're gonna see the same hardware, you're gonna see the different results. And throughput, we're actually seeing about three to four times faster, and again, on the same hardware, and here, what's limiting our hardware is the drive, no longer the interface. Thunderbolt is actually capable of doing 10 gigabits per second, both directions, so read and write, coming through dual chains, and this version here, it has two Thunderbolt ports, so it's actually daisy chainable up to six devices. So what we have here is we have the laptop connected to the display, then running to our devices. And this is a great solution for end users that are creating content. Everybody's now taking high-res pictures, we're downloading movies, and a general Thunderbolt solution, multi-drive solution, is about $1,000. That's a little bit more than I think general customers want to, want to buy. So this, for example, for, uh, 199 for the, uh, 189 for the for the, uh, the adapter, it's much more affordable for the end customer. Now, unfortunately, the cable is not included, mm. and the cable itself costs another $50, and, you know, like HDMI used to be, basically you got to keep buying the HDMI cable. So same thing, that is available through Apple right now. This will be available at Apple at the dates I told you. Fantastic, Leo. Well, it looks like uh, Mac users have something to look forward to from Seagate, desktop users have higher capacity drives to look forward to from Seagate, and they also have the Momentus XT, which is the fastest platter-based notebook drive on the market. I'm Stephen with futurelooks.com. Thank you so much for joining us at the Seagate booth at CES 2012. We will see you for more coverage later on this week. Take care.